Are you guys ready for some girl chat? Yeah. Okay, so many people use the online coupon service, Groupon, as a way to save a little money when going out, you know, on the town. But you guys, according to BuzzFeedNews.com, 25-year-old Tiffany Nunn got slammed on social media when she tweeted, I would leave a date if a guy used Groupon. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Some people are applauding. Some are like, huh? One woman defended Groupon saying, Groupon has all the deals and fun things to do for cheap. You bugging. Now, someone else brought up that it's not just about discounts, but the ideas. So would any of you ladies take offense if you went on a date and your dude pulled out a coupon or a coupon for a discount? Hell no. Y'all are saying... Uh... Look, okay, the, one of the biggest secrets why some of the wealthiest people are wealthy today is because they know how to save money. It's not being considered cheap. It's being efficient with the way you spend. So if a man is going to be real from the get, letting you know he knows how to save money, guess whose bank account you're sharing later on? Yes. 100%. I think it's True. really smart. No one's like ever it. pulled out a coupon on a date with me, but I would never hold that against them. I actually, okay, like for instance, when you go to Six Flags, if somebody took you to Six Flags and they brought out the Coke cans, Yo. you know, for the discount, Come I would on. be like, yeah, no? Yeah. <laughs> I would think I that would. was dope, like, because that's something I grew up doing. Yes. I'd be like, you're smart with your yes. money, and that's really sexy. I, I like don't it. Know. A man that's smart with his uh, money. Uh, this is my thing. I'm all for saving money. Yes. Okay? I agree with you, Jeannie. However, I just don't want to see it. So, <laughs> he could use a coupon, but just don't, just don't be like, man, this day was amazing. Bam, there you go. <laughs> I don't want to see it! What if he had, like, super swag and he's like, he's like, yo, it's so crazy because I actually had picked this spot and then I realized that I had a Groupon for it. Okay. So, like, this was half off. How cool is that? Oh, it's, no, just get it up. It doesn't have to be and, done. No, a, get up and go pay the bill yep. where I can't see you. Yeah. Which you can, yeah. That's what you do. That's yeah. swag. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. Know. That it. You pretend you go to the restroom. You go that trick. Yeah. yeah. Someone yeah. said, that's class. Yeah, yeah that's classy. <laughs> yeah. The but speaking yeah. is classy, yeah. all right? All right. I think don't look at just the Groupon. Let's be honest. Ladies, I'm talking about ladies right now. Yes. If we can just look... Like, what if you had a great date? What if he took you to a nice restaurant? Where did he take you? Did he pick you up? Did he have great conversation with you? Did he order a nice bottle of wine? Like, look at the entire date. Don't just slam the brother because he put out a group on. Yeah. Like, he's saving money for other areas. You know? Maybe. Maybe so I, not. <laughs> I just, all, all I know is today, as a married woman, I talk to a lot of my girlfriends about their dating, mm -hmm. and I listen to them, and sometimes women get real picky about yes. little qualities about a brother who's just trying to make it happen. Yeah, you know, and, and that think, long term is actually something they would appreciate in a husband. No, That's no, no, real man. He ain't going to be carrying around no coupons. He going to do not, it. No, no, come on, man. No, they not. No, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but then people, okay, people that are single, that are looking for guys, Guys out there, should they say no to a guy for a second date if everything else was great except for the coupon? Yeah. Let them know. Say, you know, I feel uncomfortable with you and them <laughs> coupons, bro. You no. know, and maybe you should no, no. Uh, what no. about Wait, we got some men in the audience? What'd you say? That's why and you that's, stay single. But sometimes Give you don't. Know, wait, hold on. Stay single. Yes. Okay. No, why, let me why talk. Does this is my show. Let me talk. Why does okay? the coupon hold make on. you uncomfortable? Hold on. Yes. No, it's not that. It's not. It's not that. The whole point is of dating is it's if you can't you afford it. to date and it's how you do it, then don't date. Okay. No. Mm -mm. Don't. So don't include should... me into so y'all. That means you can't afford to, to have a spouse and be in love? There's a, yes. there's no, a price you, bracket? You're taking it way too far. I'm talking about first, second dates, okay? <laughs> we ain't talking about when y'all got to buy that house and y'all got to work together. We talking about first date. Your first date is your first impression. It, that means a lot, yeah. okay? And if you, if you discounting on the first date, what the hell we going to do on the 10th date? No, because... <laughs> when, maybe, that's, maybe he's I saving think, up. So he could take you on okay. that. I have two people in my life, Annie and Frank. They are my sister and brother-in-law. 
Frank, when he came out of school, at, came out of college, was not making any money. Annie believed in him, and she stood by him. They moved into a really, really shady apartment in Philly, and he went to school, and he did his thing, and they shared Groupon-type dinners. Yeah. They shared, like, happy hour, you know, Both early special. Together. They did all that together, and she stuck by him, and up until today, he built a business and is now a multimillionaire and taking real good care of the family. So I applaud you guys, because... They did it creatively. That's and wonderful, but that, that first date and, is very important. And, okay. Yes. I'm saying. Yes. Wait, can you ask you, Anne and Fran, Annie yeah. and Frank yeah. what the first date was like, though? Like, how... I know exactly. how it was. They literally... Did he use a Groupon on the first date? <laughs> I just no. want to know. He ordered... What, what, the, what, what you say? Okay. You what? What was the answer? He did a what blue plate said? special. He, ate, he ordered dinners that were before 6 p.m. so that the dinners were half okay. off. That's he, fun. he shared, they shared meals together. You they talking ate about, in a lot. I'm talking about that first date. You was about to say no. Okay, that first date, what he did was, so they came out of school, he was, he was broke, he didn't have a lot of money, so he went over to the house, asked the parents if he could take her out, and then he took her to dinner, he took her to a nice dinner, but he always did it around the time where meals were cheaper. And he told her that's that. Smart. He told her, I want you to know that I really like you. That's different, he didn't I use a coupon, know, though. That's the, that's the point. <laughs> I, I need the idea of a conversation, date. though. It, would it make you feel that's better? Date. Wait, Lonnie, would it make you feel better if the dude, like Tam, tell me too. Okay. Would it make you feel better if the guy said, look, man, came up front and was honest? Yes. I think that's really dope when you can see that a guy just puts his heart on his sleeve. Well, first of all... Or he's like, you know what? I want to make this first date... Uh, I want to get... I want to make this first date the best first date you've ever had, yes. but I'm going to be honest. I want to pull out all the stops for you. Okay, this is good. Right? Yes. This is right? Good. Yes. But I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, we have to... Uh, go around happy hour, but are you cool with that? That's great. Just be, I think being honest is really honest. Or saying, saying, like, yo, I'm saving up. I, I want to give you a great future if this works out. It's too much explanation for that me. That is true. Oh, my God. <laughs> diva right you here. Know, take, no, it's not right a diva. Here. Take me out. You know, if you well, can't afford to date me, you can't yes. afford to date me. That's yes. all. And you know, I don't need to hear about your plan on how to date me. Just take me out. He's That's not it. putting your date on layaway. He's my just thing, trying to be honest. But this is, see, while y'all talking about men taking... What about women doing it? Because I know a lot... Okay? See, it, I mean... What, what, what? I, women what about men what? do... You know, women doing it. Women take men out. You know, you gonna have your Groupon... Oh, no, you need to way? take me out. No, we're going too far. I like oh. you using your coupon. I'm not taking you out on our first date. <laughs> <laughs> See? No. See? No. Is it too... You oh, how two the ways. tables turn. Okay. <laughs> you always... Well, here's something <laughs> Tiffany might approve of. An article in New... New York Magazine says that millennial men are more likely to think that women should stay home while men work than previous generations. Now, the article states so that young millennials are far less progressive than their counterparts from two decades ago on issues regarding women and housework. They will probably use Groupons. That's what happened. Oh, shut <laughs> up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't be petty, this, Crawford. This old school style of thinking got me to wondering, what happened to the old-fashioned values and the manners? Have we unlearned them? Are our parents not instilling them anymore? It's so, so hard. Yeah, it's we're so going hard backwards? To because now more than ever do we have women CEOs, we have women entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. Yeah. and you would think that... We they would inspire these young millennials. Yeah, so let me have incredible turnouts for like women's marching. Yeah. Right? So well, this confused. study is saying that millennial men would prefer for their women to stay, stay at home. home? Is yeah, that yeah, we're saying. going That's backwards instead of moving forward. That's so interesting. Accurate. You want to know why? Because they used to their mamas taking care of them. That's why. You see? All right. So? Yeah. A no. lot of millennials are at home with their moms. And I believe oh. that. Yeah. I think, mm -hmm. personally, from the millennials that I know of... Yeah, I'm not going to be talking about millennials like I'm not sitting at this <laughs> table. Okay, true, true. You we have a millennial here. A millennial. Shut up, I'm still a millennial. <laughs> I still count. Hanging on to that definition. She hanging on to that. <laughs> she Shut up. holding on for dear life. <laughs> no, but nowadays, I've noticed millennials are actually more apt to make money quicker than the generations of their past because of the huge 
explosion of the internet. Yes. You make money building websites. I made, I have friends that became millionaires just being able to just data program for di different companies. Yeah. Um, people now, I mean, that's why the rise of Soho houses and no houses, these work, play, live spaces work because people work remote now. Nobody works in offices anymore. People Google can work those places wherever we she go. Just said. Yes. But what they're saying is yeah, but that, what that. So, yeah. so my point is, Millennials now think about retiring by the age of 30, 35, and it's actually happening. But what does that have to do with them wanting women so to stay at home? I think that millennials could see their their wives not working and them... Because they they're work, gonna make money. And be happy. But what if you anyway. don't wanna stay home? That's okay. <laughs> but they, but a man, a man is going back to his own roots. You're right, you're right. But I think you're men... For Freddie, he knows I'm never gonna stop working, ever. I'm, I always like making my own money and I really like using my brain, mm -hmm. but he also likes the idea that he can provide for me so that I never have to work if I that's wanted true. to. And yeah, that's a that's real man. My that's husband, and actually, my husband, he asked me, once we got married, he was like, listen, Tamara, you don't have to ever work again. Do you wanna stay at home? or do you want to work? I tried staying at home for a year and a half. Didn't work for me. It works for other so people. So y'all like these men that take you out on a Groupon and make you not work. <laughs> Is that Why is she still out on a Groupon? Groupon? She ain't letting that Groupon go. <laughs> she <laughs> doesn't want the Groupon guy. Tam said no to the Groupon. I like the Groupon no, guy because I want him to it save money. I want honest. him to make money. I, I want honestly, to make money next day. But you're also yeah. concerned about his thinking. And if he's going to sit here and say, well, I think you should stay at home, you know, that's just not... This is the thing about this society. We want equal pay for equal women, mm -hmm. which is what I believe, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course. But also... Because we are equal. But in the same vein, do, do you feel like you should be treated... You should have a man treat you differently. No. See, I actually like the equality on both sides. I like the idea of um, being able to work and provide also for my family just as much as my husband. But the thing is, is that... I like the idea I of that. I want to contribute. I like... And I like that. I think that when it comes to... I want my man to treat me um, like a lady. Mm -hmm. I don't care. If you're not my man, you ain't got to open up the door for me because I can open the door my damn self. Yeah, all right? society. That's, you that's you want I society exactly. to treat you as an equal and your man should treat but you like you are. But are we teaching our children? What are we teaching? Because that's what, that's what this, I think this is saying. Yeah, we're, we're that, forgetting the Where big, are they getting this thinking from? Yes, and we're forgetting that children, at the end of the day, are the ones that need time to... Children, at the end of the day, need time spent with the most. Right? right? Not with your babysitter, not with your nanny, not being put at school or another game, but being there with the parents. I had two parents that worked. I turned out fine. Thank you, Jesus. But I really would have loved you the You sure you turned more. out fine? I did, Mom, because I'm sitting next to you. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm speaking with her today. But I, but I really love the moments I had with my mom and dad, and I didn't always get a lot of them because dad had to work graveyard but Jeannie, shift, and um, my mom had to work two Research jobs. as a working mother, research actually shows that it's not the uh, quantity of time that you spend with your children, mm -hmm. it's the quality of yeah. time. Yeah, just that being there isn't children. enough. Because there are parents who are there every day and they're not really watching their children. They're not present. The television is, right. the iPad is. Let them know. So what I do, <laughs> let them know, what I do when I'm, when I'm not working I am in my son and, and my daughter's face every yeah. chance that I can get. Yeah. And let me tell you this, they know the difference between their caretaker and their mother. Yeah. And I want to show my children that it doesn't matter what gender you are, uh, a, a woman or a man, you can do anything you want to yeah. do. Yeah, and you should be ambitious and follow yeah. your dreams. Absolutely. Yeah. Whatever that may be, but guess what, you guys? Whatever that may I don't, be. I don't, whatever that may be, and I love that you say whatever that may be, because for some people, their biggest Staying dream home, yeah. is to be a stay-at-home mom. And we and shouldn't take that away that. from them. Yeah. Yep. Or guess that. what? A stay-at-home dad. Yep. There are d men out there that are willing to be the backbone of their yep. family. And, and, and <laughs> Look at all the men now. Look at the no. coupon men. They no. Now. no. Let me tell you, if no, your wife true. is the one kicking ass out there and she's winning and she's doing a great thing, you better be there supporting her. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. 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 Yes
that. It might, it might take you taking the back seat sometimes, and I think a lot of us women do that in our lives and in our careers. You know, it takes, um, what is it called? It's um, teamwork? It's compromise and yes. teamwork. Yes. It's some season in your life, your husband may be the one, you know, excelling at his job, climbing the ladder in the corporate world, whatever the case may be, and sometimes the woman has to take the back seat. And that's fine, and but... you should get your chance to. It should be equal. And well, you not only that, it's also do. economic reasons why a lot of women work yeah. outside. Yeah, a lot of women would like to stay at home and be with their children, but they just can't. So we should not make them feel bad Absolutely. as well. So, you know.